This is Adafruit Pink. This is my color. I've always kind of liked having um, like a lip ring and, and jewelry and my hair is a little bit unusual. And you know what? I think the best part is when I meet young girls and they say, you know, I want to be able to look like that and have a job. I don't want to have to wear a suit every day. I'm like, if you're an engineer, you can look however you want. That's one of the best parts of being an engineer and being a business owner. When you study engineering at MIT, you're learning a lot of like calculus and science and algebra, and you're doing a lot of like the math behind engineering, but you don't actually get to build anything with your hands because you're doing so much theory. And so after I graduated, I thought, well, I'd like to do more with my hands. I want to build more. I want to be more creative with electronics. And so I started building my own projects. Like I made my own MP3 player, for example. And you know, it was really fun. I didn't want to buy an iPod. I just want to build my own. And after I did that, I put up instructions online on you know how to build your own MP3 player, and you can put it into a mint tin after you're done. And it became a really popular project, and people shared it online. And a lot of people emailed me and said, you know, I'd like to build my own mint tin MP3 player. Can you sell me a kit, a pack of parts, so that I can follow along at home and build this myself without going to like 50 different stores to buy one thing? And that's actually kind of how Adafruit started. Right now, we have 40,000 square feet in Soho, Manhattan, and we have 85 employees full time. We have 850 tutorials on our learning system, and these tutorials basically teach you how to do everything from the most basic skills on how to cut wire and, and solder two things together, all the way up to you know making your own Halloween costume with wings that flap and you know fire breathing masks and uh, you know your own synthesizers, your own computer, like everything in between, so that people can pick and choose what projects are most inspiring to them, and then they can follow along and learn more advanced skills as they gain experience. I think that we are absolutely changing things. Um, you know, historically, a lot of the STEM fields, um, such as biology, were not mostly women, they were mostly men, but that has been changed. And I think that what we do on a day-to-day -day basis can affect the current generation and future generations. We had one parent contact us and said, my daughter actually asked me if there were any boy engineers because the only engineers she's seen on your show have been women. And so I was like, yes, like we've totally brainwashed this girl and that's awesome. We are showing people that engineering isn't just the physics of how a transistor works. It's using the technology and being creative with it and solving problems that people have or creating something beautiful with it. And I think that's opening up engineering to like a whole new group of people that maybe would never have thought that engineering was for them.